Limusioka here and once again I want to talk to you about an psychiatrical or scarring form of hair loss called uh, lichen planopilaris. Some people will call it lichen planus and this is a cousin to a condition I've been talking about called frontal fibrosing. So lichen planus and frontal fibrosing will show the same pathological features however when you look at the clinical features they are different in that frontal fibrosing will affect the front hairline and the face but with lichen planopilaris it appears in patches on the vertex or on the top part of the scalp and I, I saw this gentleman of Indian descent in the clinic and when he came to me he was complaining of a lot of inflammation on the scalp sometimes soreness and there was a lot of scarring patches that had lost hair follicles and when you look at it closely there is a lot of white dots around where the hair sinks into the scalp and sometimes it just looks red. The dots that appear on the camera as white is actually swelling and redness around the hair follicles which is brought about by inflammation. One of the things that I had to talk to this gentleman is about lifestyle because there's some of the things that you do if you smoke a lot or you drink a lot those are things that would lower the immunity and worsen any inflammatory process happening on the body and the other thing was to look at um, anything that would be a aggravating infl inflammation things like wheat just to make sure that we manage that or the intake of that and then we went in to try and manage the inflammation and his case was quite severe so I have had to put him on um, some antibiotics that would help with uh, management of uh, the inflammation or managing the proteins that would trigger inflammation as well as stopping any papules that would be popping because of infection and then after that once we treated the infection we had to do a bit of anti-inflammatory injections on the scalp just to make sure that we stop that inflammation he's gotten very good progress and we're looking at uh, completely settling that it's taking a bit of time some of these conditions like lichen planopilaris if you're a patient suffering from that you really have to be patient with it sometimes it takes six months sometimes it can take eight months to really treat it and make sure that the scalp is completely settled he's now concerned about the scars and we're going to look at uh, possibilities of replacing hair in those scars even though one of the things is that if the skin is too thin then supporting hair growth might not be feasible but yes we feel that this particular case we might be able to get some joy in replacing the patches that have been lost however key to note is that we must make sure that the inflammation is completely settled however it can always pop back and this is something i will say ad nauseum that any inflammatory process that is brought about by autoimmune conditions we can never claim to cure it permanently it can always recur. However, if it recurs, it's a slow process. And if it's caught in good time, then you should be able to stop it and keep your hair growing. So I wish him all the best. We're doing our best to make sure that we settle the scalp and recover the hair. And I'll keep it here to make sure that I share with you the success of this gentleman. <music>